Smell that? It's time for a swing dance reaction video. No. 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 Yeah! <laughs> Greetings and salutations. Welcome to Street Smart Swing. My name is Jamin Jackson, also known as the Galactic Swing Dance Umpire. <laughs> and I'm super elated to be scrutinizing another video for you today. But first, make sure you subscribe and headbutt that notification button so you never miss a swing dance reaction video ever again. Right now, we're gonna go back to Winter Jump. We have a performance or improvisation by Felipe and Alice. Says that they're dancing to the clarinet of George Reese or Rice. I'm not sure how you pronounce that last name. But this is interesting. It said dancing to the clarinet. Is it solo with the band? I don't know, let's check it out. Do not let your hearts be troubled. I will be telling you the absolute truth about how I feel about this performance. So if you are someone who gets triggered by the truth, this is not the place for you. All right, let's take a look. Okay, it looks like, oh, I see what's going on. Okay, it looks like the band, they're doing a drawing to maybe see uh, which instrument is gonna play with them. I still don't know if it's going to be like solo by by itself or is it going to be the whole band and that particular solo instrument will be accompanying the band. So we will see. All right, clarinet. It is. <laughs> Now you guys don't know this, but I'm learning the clarinet right now. This is like my new favorite instrument. And let's see if the band is gonna play. It, look, it does look like the band might be playing with them. So I'm gonna tell you guys what I'm looking for in this performance after we get through it. Let's see. So I'm going to tell you right now, it's really difficult to make social dancing look interesting, uh, especially in a swing dancing culture where we all social dance. But I'm going to tell you, this is pretty impressive. What I like so far is uh, both of these dancers are just doing simple shapes and being very selective on when to uh, amplify the movement. <clears throat> Yes, <clears throat> that was cool. <clears throat> I really love when followers express themselves like that, um, especially when it's within the language of what's happening. Some are really good at that. And I think Elise is, she's one of my favorites. She's really, really solid at being able to do that. It's cool to see Felipe trying some different uh, movements to kind of psych us out a little bit. He's doing a little, some arm fakes and things like that. Yeah. See, this is good. This is a good mesh up. I, I really like how these both of them are matching each other and joy uh, and intensity playfulness
<laughs> I saw that. Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. That was really playful. Man, that clarinet player is great. George, wow. Yes. Fantastic. Let's talk about this. Woo! Boy, I got to tell you, it's good to see swing dancing that is elevated. I hope you guys know what I mean by elevated. There's there's levels of swing dancing. You have you have a beginner, you got intermediate, you got intermediate advanced and so on. And then you get the level where it's like teachers, but sometimes those teachers aren't actually like really good. You know what I mean? Sometimes people just kind of skip that process to become a teacher. That's just how it is some days. I mean, I, I guess that's just how it is. Um, but then there's a level of being a teacher where you can actually see that the people can do what they teach. That's some of my favorite kind of dancing. It's beyond theory. It's beyond just talking about it. But you can actually see a, a, a genuine love for what they're doing. And you can see the discipline behind that so that it isn't just some kind of love that they have, and, but they can't do it. Um, but, they're, but they do it well. That's, that's the level. And this is kind of elevated. I love when you have these kind of dancers get to this level. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, this was really special. What was special about it for me is the fact that in some kind of way, it's a weird, it's a weird thing. Certain dancers kind of fit certain instruments naturally. And I think this was like the perfect match for this couple. The clarinet was like how they were dancing. It was like light. It was like syncopated. It was like playful. I just felt like the, the clarinet was fluttering like ribbons in the air. And they were just kind of outside in a, a wonderful spring day dancing in the park. And there's flowers blowing in the wind. And I just felt like it, it perfectly matched what I could hear. And that's a really hard thing to accomplish. I don't know if you know what I mean by that. Because sometimes there are dancers who... Uh, can literally do the exact same thing. Let's say they did the same thing, but for whatever reason, they didn't match like the tonality of the music. It just kind of feels like it's like something's off. It's like watching a really, really, really big man uh, walking and then someone like plays the flute. Like that doesn't go. I want to hear like bass, boom, boom, right? It doesn't match when you don't have the right tonality with it. And so this was really special because I felt beyond what they were just doing in terms of dance, there was a tone that matched with the music. And for me, that is the best part of swing dancing is when the dancers can amplify what we are hearing so that the audience can feel something emotionally. And obviously they're past the level of just technique. So there's nothing really you can critique on that unless there was something that they were specifically working on and they failed and the audience doesn't know. But we don't know that. We, I just watched it. All I could see was the tone of what they were going for. And I could see the spirit of improvisation. That is like wonderful when you can see it at this level. Because I don't think I would have picked them for any other instrument if they danced this way. Um, maybe they could have changed the energy level and maybe danced as a trumpet. It could have been up a little higher or it could have been a little bit more relaxed and cool. And they could have done the saxophone. I don't know if they could do it. I don't know. They didn't get that. I just saw the clarinet. And I'm going to tell you it was perfect. This is this was a it's hard to not have something to say to to make it better. But that's what I look for is like what could have made it even better. And I don't really have a, an opinion on that because I'm not doing what they're doing. I wasn't in that moment. Um, I can tell you what I would have liked or I can tell you what I wouldn't have liked, but in this case, I think for me, I'm satiated as a viewer knowing Okay, the technical stuff was good, duh, but also they knew when not to do stuff. They knew exactly when to embellish the music. They knew not to do too much stuff too early in the song to where by the time you do a kickball change out of a swing out, you know, scissor kicks, it's a big deal. By the time Felipe was doing some kind of kickball change, it wasn't like, okay, we saw it like 10 times. Because <laughs> some people do that. They just... It's like starting a song 
like Whitney Houston, in the very beginning of the song, they're doing all these runs. And you're like, whoa, 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 I don't feel anything. Let's build up. Let's get that Celine Dion effect. So by the end of the song, there's this moment where we're all like, yes, feeling it, crying. And, and that's that's what I like to see translated in dance. And I think they nailed it. They nailed this. So I don't, you know, I don't have anything to say. I liked it. What did you guys think about this? What did you like? Now, now listen, you guys are my house. See, this, this is my house. So when you make comments about other people's dancing, comment on their dancing. And if you've got something to say, realize you're saying it to me. And if it is necessary, if I feel like my friends need to hear it on my channel, my friends should probably hear it. But if I don't think my friends need to hear it, you're in my house. You're not going to say crazy stuff in my house. So keep that in mind. No like circular reasoning in your arguments and no profanity. Let's, let's keep it sane. Let's keep it pithy. And let's keep it rational. All right. So since we're talking about dancing, you let me know what your opinion is about this. I liked it. I really did like it and I'm curious to see some of these other performances that they have for the same type of template like where they're dancing to different instruments and uh, that's my two cents. Let me know what you guys thought in the comment section about this video. It's going to be pretty interesting. I'm going to tell you right now, the, the follower here, some of you guys don't know, she was part, she was one of the followers that was in the Ninjammers and that group uh, was one of the groups that taught me um, how to do a lot of my swing dancing 10 years ago. Excellent group. And she can go literally from like dancing one style of dance to a completely different style of dance where you don't even recognize it's the same person. That's how dynamic uh, her, her personality is. And it's super inspirational for me as a, as a lead. Now, Felipe, he's been dancing a long time. But what I'm really impressed by, it's not that he's just been around. Not that he's just kind of like, you know, going through the circuit and pulling all the right strings. Lindy Hop's small. There's not that many people on the planet that do it. But what I like is he's put forth the work. There's a real passion you can tell in his dancing that can't be fabricated with politics. This is something that you can tell is inside of him and he's allowing that to bubble out in a way that's not just formulaic. And I love that about his dancing. I don't like all the stylistic choices. That's my preference. But I like the determination, I like the discipline, and I like the, the maturation process that I'm seeing so far. So um, give a shout out to those guys. They crushed it. This is an example of what I like when people do improvisation. Not just dancing well, but knowing how to do it to music well so that you and I can get an emotional response. Fantastic. Okay, guys. If you're not doing this, make sure you check out my Fundamentals membership. It will unlock your mind so that you can go through swing dancing's uh, journey with complete clarity so you can fix yourself. Can you imagine taking a swing dancing course, totally understanding how to think like a master dancer, getting the information to become a, a master dancer in seed form, and then being able to go through that process to get good within six months, like really good. So I spent over 10,000 hours, guys, so I wanna help you. If you're struggling with that and having a consistent approach to doing the dance to any tempo, um, I'd encourage you to check out my Fundamentals membership. If you're needing inspiration, creativity, and different ways to move once you get that technique, check out some of my free courses. I got a home studio here. We have a community online that believes in what we're doing, and, and they are fired up about getting new content and learning and growing. And if you want to get a taste of what that's like, you should check out my free courses. I got like 25 to 30 courses on there. You can see exactly what I work on. I spend a lot of time coming up with new moves all the time that I don't really post uh, anywhere else. This is just our school online. People are like, hey, you need to start like a brick and mortar type school. I'm like, mm, not really. I would, I would rather, you know, have people in my school from what I'm used to, which is dancing with people all over the world. So we have people who don't even speak my same language, but the concepts are so simple, they're able to grasp them with their own language and uh, get the impact that they need. So check out all that stuff. All right, guys. Uh, if I don't see your uh, comments below, hopefully I get a chance to see some of you in my course online. Have a great day. Take care.